Hi guys, thanks for clicking on another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Discovery Optics 4-16x44 SFIR scope, so that's side focus and illuminated reticle. I've been using this scope now for a month, so it's about time that I can actually give it a, a proper review rather than just getting it out of the box and give you first impressions. And uh, my overall impression is actually it's really good, really good for the price. Um, I actually purchased this in the UK for £149 from SureShot. Um, you can get it elsewhere, you can get it much cheaper if you go direct to AliExpress and import it from China to the UK. You can get it for £115 with uh, free shipping. But of course then you take your chances with, if there's a problem with it, you've either got to then um, just put up with it or try to ship it back to China after negotiating with the uh, the retailer from China. So, you know, it's a bit more expensive from Sure Shop, but you've got that peace of mind that they're a UK retailer and you can just send it back to them and they'll replace it, whatever. So um, that, that's the way I went with it. So when it's delivered, it comes in a standard scope style box. Um, nothing special about it really. It's got some details on it. Uh, it's not the most well packaged uh, items when it comes. Um, it's just slotted into these. It hasn't got a whole cutout that it fits in. Uh, you know, that's going to get bashed around a little bit on the way over from China. Um, in the box, you do get uh, uh, a large side wheel, which is really good. I've had that fitted. Really makes it uh, a lot more convenient for turning the side focus. You get your spare battery for the illuminated reticle, which is nice. Uh, chamois cloth for cleaning your lenses obviously the different size allen keys that you need for uh, mounting it and for uh, fitting the side wheel and you get your UK instruction book I'm guessing that they enclose one which is specifically for your country because it hasn't got 17 different languages in here also with the scope you get your Scope mounts. Now you can actually choose between Picatinny or um, Dovetail. Uh, they come supplied with, or should come supplied with, medium height. But I asked um, SureShot to supply uh, high mounts, which they did, which was fabulous, because uh, I know that it, it fits me better. Um, this cant level here is is an optional extra. I, I fitted that after the after the fact. Um, it has been on my rifle for a month. I didn't want to take that off and balls up the whole level. Uh, also you get your flip up covers. The back one doesn't actually flip up properly, but it's not a big deal. It does hold itself in place. The front one is better. And then inside you do have your honeycomb sunshade rather than like a three inch tube at the front, which again I prefer. So if we go over the features of the scope starting from the eyepiece, um, the first thing that I did notice, which I didn't see in the advertisement, was that it doesn't actually have a fast focus eye ring at all. There's actually no focus at all on the, uh, the eyepiece there, which means if you, uh, for instance, if you wear glasses on a day-to-day -day basis and you prefer to shoot without your glasses, you might not be able to get a nice clear focus on the crosshairs because normally you use the focus ring to bring the, the crosshairs into focus. Um, I do wear glasses, but I wear my glasses for shooting as well, so it's not a, a problem for me, but for, for some of you it may well be, so that's, that's definitely something worth considering. Uh, next thing, you've got your illumination here, so red and green, uh, five stages. There's no off between each step. Um, and it is nice and bright. I mean, it's not daylight bright. So on a bright day, not in the shadows, you can't really see the illumination. But if you're shooting under a canopy or in low light, it really does stand out nice. Um, next, you've got the, the zoom ring. And this is nice and smooth. There's no gritty feeling to that at all. It's got a nice uh, rubber grip all the way around it there. So you don't need a throw lever or anything. It's just it is a nice grip on that. Um, so you've got your 30mm tube and then you've got your side focus. 
so your side focus goes all the way down to 10. Uh, the steps are 10, 15, 25, 50, 100, 200, 500 and infinity and that is ultra smooth. It is really nice and smooth. <clears throat> and I've actually tested this out on the range. I'm an air gunner so the maximum I really shoot is 50 yards but I've put markers out and I've I've shot at the 10, 15, 25 and 50 marks and the focus is spot on, absolutely spot on. Um, on the, the large side wheel, what I intend to do is actually put my own markers on and it lines up just nicely with the, the groove here. So I can put on my own markings for the, for the ranges and actually use that as a, as a form of a range finder. Um, the turrets, the turrets are nice, they're lift and lock. One thing I have noticed, and this is something you wouldn't have noticed if you were just doing an out of the box kind of first impressions, is that after a while, the turrets actually seem to stick down. They stick down after you've moved them the ones, as you can see, lift, lock, lift, lock. But um, if you haven't moved those for a while, they're actually stuck down. Now I'm guessing this is because the grease that they've used is just quite sticky. So um, I intend to take off these turrets and, uh, and replace with some nice uh, slick silicon grease so that you don't get that sticking problem. But again, that's just another little thing that I've noticed about the scope. Um, but the turrets themselves are really nice. They lift, nice and positive, uh, very audible. And there's only the slightest little bit of slop in there but they do click nicely and then they drop straight back down. Same story with the side. Again, a little bit sticky on the first move, but then after that it's fine. Nice and positive. Now what you actually have on these is a resettable zero. So rather than having to uh, use an Allen key to take off the, the, the cap of the turret, uh, reset it to zero, put it back down again, there's actually just a, like a spin lock on these, you can see this. So you turn the spin lock, you set your zero, hold it in place, tweak that up, and then that's, that's reset your zero point. Lift, down. And I actually really like that. I use that quite a lot. Um, the windage is the same deal, just undo the collar. Reset your zero and tweak it right down again and then that doesn't move. So then down the rest of the scope, um, as I've already said, the honeycomb sunshade. So the reticle that comes in this is a, a HMD SFP reticle. You can Google what all that means, um, but you know, layman's terms, it is pretty much a half mil dot. Uh, reticle, nice reference points on there. It is quite fine as you'll see in the next piece. Well, I'll attach my scope cam and give you a view through the, the scope so you can see how clear the, um, the lenses are and how nice and crisp the reticle is. But the reticle is quite fine, uh, particularly if you've got a, a dark backdrop. Got a target set up down there at 20 yards away. Um, we're on four times magnification. The side wheel focus is spot on at all the different marked ranges. I've tried it at them all. Uh, you know, I can't argue with any of those. You can see that the reticle is quite fine. So um, I do tend to find that I'm using the illumination, either the red or the green, to, uh, to bring out the crosshairs against darker backgrounds. So if I just run through the different uh, zooms for you. So that's now 10 times zoom, and that's max zoom at 16. Um, I've got no problems at all with the clarity of the lenses. Uh, any any blurriness or fuzziness around the edges of the, the picture there or just purely down to the camera that I'm using. So the side focus there is set to exactly 20 yards. And if I just change it, you'll see that it changes the focus very well back onto 20 exactly it's just superb
So I won't go into all the minute specs. You know, you, you can you can Google this and you can uh, look on the manufacturer's website if you want to. You know, know what the the coating is on the lenses and and all that sort of business. Um, there is one thing though that I would mention that is the weight of it. So this weighs over 900 grams. And I purchased this to put on a, a lightweight uh, hunting rig. So I've got a Kral NPO3, which is a light rifle. And, and I didn't actually realize just what a difference the overall weight of your rifle, a heavy scope makes. Because this has turned um, a lightweight rifle when I was using a, a Hawk scope which was only 500 grams, adding a 900 gram scope on it really does make a difference. I could really tell the difference when I picked up the rifle with this scope on it compared to the Hawk scope. Um, again, something that you might want to consider depending on what you're gonna use it as. Um, but you know, it's you know, it's not too unruly, but if you've got a if you've got a, a heavy rifle and then you stick a heavy scope on it, then you've got a, you've got a heavy setup, a proper heavy setup. Uh, for me, it's not too much of an issue, but I might be uh, looking at something more lightweight so I can carry around that uh, that hunting rig all day without any, any issues. So there you go. Overall, you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with the purchase. Uh, it's a nice, clear scope picture. The reticle's nice. Um, I, I like the way it looks. I like these red bits on there. Some people might not, uh, but I do like that. Uh, yeah, I've, I've successfully uh, done some target shooting with it and, and hunting with it, albeit with that extra bit of weight. And um, so, yeah, if you're if you're in the in the market for something different, you know, something that's not in the UK, you know, Hawk Element Optics, um, Nico Sterling are all like your bread and butter kind of scopes. If you want to try something different, give one of these a go. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Please like and subscribe and I'll uh, see you next time.